Hello everyone, Radlad here, and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're playing Metroid Scroll 6. Now, fun fact about this game is that I actually tried playing this on a channel like a while back, back when I used to do hacks like SR387 and like Oil Spill. This was originally a game I was planning to do, and I even mentioned it in the first episode of SR387. But um, I did it with my friend uh, Trent, and we just, as you can see from my first file, I got pretty far in it, but like... I realized the recording volume of the music was way too loud, so it ended up making it so you couldn't hear anything, so... Yeah. That was unfortunate. Anyway, yeah, well, let's alleviate some burden. And no, we're just... Wait, normal act, novice or expert? I guess there's no in-between. I guess we'll do expert? <laughs> we're, we're experts at Metroid. We know we're cool. I'm just saying, we're gonna be playing an expert difficulty. I once again find myself bored and eager to slay a dragon. In my effort to quell this desire, I found a strange realm with mystical properties. I smell a dragon here, so I shall do what I must to reach it. Alright, Samus, I think you need to get a new hobby. Alright, hopefully the volume isn't too loud again, because that would be really unfortunate if I made the same mistake twice. But yes, I don't remember that much about this hack since it's been a while since... I, it's been like, I think half a year since I played it, so I don't really remember that much. Oh, we start with Longbeam and Morph Ball. Okay, cool. So like SR-387, from my member of that. Oh, I love the music, it's custom. That's really good music. Ooh, Power Grip too. Ah, uh, it's gonna be back by Metro Attacks, honestly. So I don't remember too much about this, so I don't remember where most things are. So like, I might remember a few, a couple random things, but for the most part, it's probably gonna be mostly blind. So I don't remember how long this hack is, it might be a few episodes, who knows. I might do it on one go, depending on how long it is. Because, like, I think longer videos, honestly, might be better, just so you can, like, watch in one sitting. But, who knows, I might make separate videos. I'm kind of debating on it. Because the Enigma ones, I very easily could have made separate videos, but I feel like it made more sense if there's just one interconnected one. Especially since it was kind of, like, my big thing back, you know? Ah, oh, we need bombs for everything. Why do I must need... Why must I need bombs for all of the things? Hang on, I want to go up here. God, zero mission wall jump being shit. Oh, so you need to be like perfectly on the the block in order to do it. So I never like zero missions long jump, like not long jump, a uh, wall jump. The wall jump and like zero mission is not terrible or anything. Like you can do the like the one side wall jumps, but they aren't as like easy to do as zero as uh, super metroids because you need to be fully on the wall or else it won't activate, which is annoying. Because super metroid, you can have like one pixel on the wall and it'll activate, and it's nice. I get so it's not too overpowered, but come on, I like overpowered. I'm not waiting for you. Alright. Remember the intro area was kind of sparse in terms of anything. That's kind of what I noticed about Metroid X, that like, the first area is usually the, the weakest. Which is fair. Because like, I mean, it makes sense that why it would be the weakest. Oh, hey, Orange Tank. It makes sense why it would be the weakest, just because like, I mean, it's the first area the designers made, so like, they're obviously still working out like how to do level design and stuff, so it's fair. Like, I think it's important not to judge a hack by its first moments, because, like, that's usually the weakest parts of the game. It's, it gets better as you go. That's what... I mean, Rogue Dawn definitely taught me that. So Rogue Dawn was just like that, where it was like, oh, yeah, it's a little bit weak at the beginning, but, like, it gets really good. Except for the final boss. We don't talk about that. All right, I just need missiles or bombs or something. Because currently, I'm not finding a whole lot of anything. Looks suspicious. Oh, more bombs. Okay. No! I've been duped. Okay. Okay, never mind. I got bombs. It opens up a lot of things. Mangler. Tomes. Oh, that's cool. They have, like, the rename to be, like, uh, you know, like, I guess, I don't know. I don't play, like, I'm probably gonna sound stupid, but, like, Elder Scrolls, I guess. Or like, just any fantasy game, honestly. Like, fantasy RPG type game. I don't play any of those types of games, so I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I offended everyone. Alright, Morph Ball Jumps. Honestly, with, with Zero Mission, you kind of need to spam the Morph Ball in order to do Bomb Jumps. You can't... There's not really that much strategy in it. You just kind of spam. And you get lucky. It's not like... Uh, planets, where there's a very clear timing. Like, Planets has a very good timing to it, which I do like how... Because you have to get the perfect timing down. And it can be annoying, but, like, Planets has a very specific timing. I guess there is a specific timing here, but it feels more random. Also, why do I have to go up this entire way? Okay. There we go, thank you. This is annoying. 
I will admit this is not a great design choice. Like, why do you have to do all these bomb jumps? Okay, thank you for letting me out of this hellhole. Wait, I'm stu- I am so fucking stupid. Oh my god, I could've just done this. That's all I ha- oh my- I forgot- I've been playing too much Metroid Planets, okay? I've been playing too much Metroid Planets. I'm not used to being able to have the power ledge grip, okay? Like, that's my excuse I'm going with today. Like, I don't- I'm not used to that, okay? Alright. Okay, we gotta wait for- I put my jump button, it's not good. Still, I still haven't changed it for some reason. I can't even get over that, I can't even- Ugh. Man, yeah, I wasted all that time. Okay, I'm wasting way too much time. I need to stop trying to do sequence breaks, because they aren't helping me at all. I just need to play the game normally, and everything will be fine. I need to stop wasting time. Ugh, okay. No, no more wasting time, no more making stupid decisions. We're gonna play like I've actually played a video game before. How about that? That seems like a good plan to me. Wait. Oh, that's just a boss icon, that's why. Okay, we need to find the missiles or bombs. I know there's missiles somewhere around here, I just don't remember where they were. So I'll keep exploring. Oh, hey, new area. Interesting. Super missiles. Yeah, no. Can't go anywhere this way? Okay, well, it's good to know it's here, I guess. I like the, the backgrounds and music in this game, though. It's like they're custom and they look really fucking good. Like the mu this music is really fucking catchy. SR387 had like one unique track, but this one, like, like no, they go full in with the uh, unique music. Uh, where are we going? There's a I don't remember where the missile was. Like, it should be on the map. Oh, it's over there. Alright, loop back around then. God, there's a lot of enemies in this area, jeez. Ooh. Get out of my way. God, it's the Gamer S. Infestation around here. Looks suspicious. Okay, it's not suspicious. Never mind. I'm stupid. Ugh, no. Stop hitting me. You're mean. You're dumb, and I hate you. Okay. Let me in. Wait, this isn't even the right area. Owie. Fine, you know what? This game is mean and evil. I hate it. It's getting us cool so far. Except these gamers, they suck. I hate them. Alright. Get out of my way. Alright, missiles acquired. Alright, that opens up our options a lot. Holy shit. Nova's casting. <laughs> the only tone we have is range. The bombs are still the same. Can't really make a version of that, I guess. Okay, we can access a lot more shit now. I'm gonna go up first. Uh, having long beam right off the bat's nice. So one problem I don't like about zero mission, like restarting, is so you get to get long beam, which it doesn't take that long, but god, it's annoying. Plus, after so much of time playing um, planets, it's kind of weird. Just it's kind of weird going back to a more modern Metroid game, like with like I mean, it's, um, I mean, plants obviously more modern, but like having like you know diagonal aiming, being able to crouch. And then the long, like, having the long beam from the start and not having to do bomb jumps to get up tiny gaps. Like, it's just, it just feels weird, so that's why I'm probably playing stupidly. Because I'm just simply not used to it. It's a tall-ass room, jeez. Ooh, missiles, though. Or, sorry, my bad. Novus castings. My bad. Okay, slopes, interesting. Keep exploring. Oh, hey, map room. That's actually kind of useful for a hack. Like... Usually I don't use, like, in the main Metro games, I never use map rooms, because I already remember all the maps. But for a, a ROM hack to have a map room is kind of rare, and it's also very helpful. Solemn, this is what this place is called. Oh yeah, save rooms. I forgot the, again, I'm not used to it. I forget there's, I forget other aspects of <laughs> other Metroid games, since I've played too much Planets lately. I mean, I know I did the color challenge, but, like, I got, I don't, I got, pat, I got through, like, three rooms in all the color challenge episodes, so it didn't really count. Alright, yeah, let's save. Let's not forget to save. Because you forget to save, you know, we're gonna die. And it's gonna be awful. I like how open this hack is so far. Like, yeah, it was a little bit limiting with the missiles, but I feel like now it's really gonna open up. Which, I mean, it should be very limiting at the beginning, because you gotta get items and stuff. 
So I think it's always a good idea to have it kind of be limited in the beginning so you can get your basic items, but then open up a lot so you can kind of branch off a lot. Now, this hack's really good so far, though. Look, I remember, I remember it being good, which is why I was disappointed that the footage for it got, uh, had, was unusable. Because, like, it's a really fucking good hack. Like, I remember really liking it. Wait, no, it's a saver. Why do I go back in here? Ah, I love going the wrong way. Okay. No. Let's go down here, then. That looks suspicious. That'd be wrong. Okay. It's not suspicious at all. Actually, it's normal. It's over here. Nothing. Can come from somewhere? Nah, it just looks weird. Okay, you're doing your thing. That's fine. Okay. I'm not sure if that's a sequence break or not. You never really know with hacks. No, nah, okay, yeah, that was a sequence break technically. But we didn't get far enough to really make use of it, so we need Ice Beam for this. I'm gonna try not sequence break. Like, we could sequence break be fun, but I kinda wanna play, like, normally, so I don't end up getting lost and then, like, trapped and waste more time as a result. Alright, uh, let's just fight the boss, I guess. Get Charge Beam. That'd be nice. I always like having Charge Beam. It's been a while since we've even been able to use it. So we might as well get the charge beam. Alright, Mr. Dude. I play this boss spell as reckless as you possibly can. I mean, it's such an easy boss. It takes three hits to kill. Like it's such it's such a joke of an enemy. Oh, it's a oh Tomafog. Okay, that's cute. But, like it's such a joke of a boss. It's one I think it's probably like the weakest boss in the series. If I, yeah, I remember. Because I remember this hack having the fact that you could, like, pull things in with the charge beam, like, the prime games, which is cool. Um, okay. There seems to be a teleporter over there with that red door, so I'm going to head over there. So the map isn't quite as open as I thought it was, which, fair, because I feel like it gets... I remember it getting very open, just not right now, I guess. Hey, move out the way. Nothing's gonna stand in my way. I'm gonna. This looks very weird. <laughs> like it just—it feels like a different game now. Like why is it... I don't remember even going this area last time. I like, those new enemy sprites too. They look kind of—they I mean, don't look bad or anything. It just looks different, you know. Music's still good though. I just—I'm not used to seeing like. Samus in like kind of a cartoony tree environment. It's not bad. It's not bad by any means at all. But it's just, it's just, it's just different, you know. It's like I'm not. I'm, it's just like a different vibe for Metroid that I haven't really ever seen been done, you know. It's actually kind of cool, if anything. Ah, hopefully there's something good over here though. And we also can't reset to quickly get back to older areas, because then we, we actually have to worry about save points now. Ugh. Lame. Nah, it's not lame. It's fine. You move so much faster in Zero Mission, that's not really even an issue. God, how far these rooms go on for? <laughs> right. Man, this area's big. How much in it, though? Just kind of keeps going on and on and on. Silva. Die, you asshole. Okay. Keep forgetting to charge up. Oh, hey, finally an item. Who would have thought? Oh, I see it. You know what they say. Hmm. 
Oh my god, I can't get it right. Also, I want to point out, I am not even trying. I am literally just spamming the button as fast as I can. So, like, this is not even, like, me being skillful about this. Hey, you don't want to go too fast, I guess. Alright, I'm going to stop doing this. It's probably wasting so much time. Yeah, no, I'm not wasting my time with that. It's not ever going to work out. I think it's, not, it's definitely not how you're supposed to even get the upgrade. You're probably supposed to get, like, high jump or some shit. Yeah, definitely. So we're not going to waste our time with it, because it's wasting so much fucking time. Oh, hey, map room. Cool. I want to see what the hell this area is about. Okay, so it's a very high up, long area, but there's, like, trees. So I'm going to head up there, I guess. Oh, this is a room back here. Finally, an upgrade. Jeez, this room has been kind of useless so far, so it's nice to see that we actually get something. Why is that, why is that one block a different texture than everything else? It's suspicious. Blue up bombs, though, so it doesn't look like there's actually anything there, but... We'll have to see, I guess. Also, I'm not 100% sure if I'll do this 100%. Um, depends, honestly, how long it is, because I don't, I don't remember how long it said it was. So, who knows? Yeah, we could do that, I guess. I'll save again. I don't know. I, I don't remember. I don't know how long this hack was. I didn't really check the website that much. I didn't recheck the website. I guess is what I should say. So I don't know. It might be multiple parts, especially if we're gonna do 100%. Because I feel like a hack of this quality will probably have like a accurate map counter of how many items you need, since most hacks don't, and they just kind of tally incorrectly what the amount of items were in the original. So yeah, who knows? I'm curious to figure that out. Um, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I forgot I had, like, reset zones. So if you fall, it just resets you to the beginning of the room. I forgot I had rooms like that. That's cool. Because I don't think I've actually ever went this way before. Like, I don't remember ever going this way when I played it earlier, like, the other time. This is, like, all new to me. So I have no idea what to expect here. Perhaps a new upgrade, though. Because I feel like there should be a new upgrade. You know, I'm just saying. You know, we've kind of been here for a while. It doesn't really seem like there's that much here. Oh, speed booster. Oh, boots. No, my bad. Boots of haste. Hell yeah, speed booster already. That's definitely going to be helpful. Even if I don't really like the speed booster because some puzzles for it are lame. But you know what? Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe this hack will have really good design ones. Oil spill had decent, a decent... Like, oil spill had some really difficult ones, but they were fun to pull off. Because that speed booster can be a little finicky sometimes, you know? Oh, this fight. I feel like this is way too easy though, because like you don't even need the pl you don't even need like the little gamer guy. Eh. I guess the more harder parts, you just don't really have mi missiles at this point in the game. But, like it's still not difficult. Like this boss's attacks aren't exactly like the most lethal in the world. It's just more it takes a while. All right, well that was that was really challenging, and I almost died. I'm so scared. That was that was close. I barely made it out a lot. Thanks, this thing. Arcane rune. Oh, you have to collect six runes to fight Ridley, I guess. Maybe that's what I'm assuming. Oh, this is an upgrade here. Oh, hey, cool. You know this little. So I guess we have to find six runes, which I guess are the six other, like, I guess main bosses, perhaps. Uh, I guess, oh yeah, I can explore more up there. Let's do that before we head out. Now we know there's speed booster puzzles, which actually might be how you're supposed to get the energy deck. Maybe we have to, like, do, like, a chain so you can, like, and you can't ball spark. Because I don't have high jump, and neither, and plus you get a little bit of error if you do a ball spark. So it doesn't really, no, you can't do that that way. Alright, well, at least I don't have to waste my time with that now. Oh fuck, this is hard when we get through. <laughs> Alright, that does not work. Do that. That's interesting. It's a weird way to do it, I guess. I don't want to fall because this area is kind of annoying. Alright, I don't think I actually led anywhere. I just want to see if there was anything that looked kind of suspicious. Alright, yeah, no, there's nothing over here. Okay, let's head out. We can always go back here later, I guess.
die time. <laughs> it's a weird obstacle, I guess. There's probably some other item we could get, but eh, I don't care that much about that. Let's just get the hell on out of here. This really long series of rooms, like holy shit. We got speed booster, we got what we came for, we got one of the runes, it's fine. So yeah, I think this is where the hack opens up, because you definitely did not need to go here first. Hence by, I think in, if I watch the footage of my old video, I definitely don't even think I went here. Alright, where to now? Oh, we could head up there, there's a lot of different things there. Okay, kill you, you're dumb and I hate you. A little bit of shortcut. Oh, this is the room we couldn't because we didn't have bombs. All right now, I think we're heading more of the way I actually went the first time I played this. So yeah, this is a very open hack. I know I keep like flip-flopping about what my stance on that is, but like, no, nah, I'm glad it's open because like there aren't enough open hacks. Like a lot of metro games fall into the trap of oh yeah, it's pretty linear. Like, it's easy to fall into just being fully linear, because, like, yeah, it's hard to get that balance right, where you don't want to be too, like, open, so that's, like, absurdly easy to get lost, but, like, it, it's hard. It's a hard balance, and I understand that. Open the way. Get out the way. Ooh, a little bit more fall tunnel, cool. It's down here. Oh, it's just back to this room. Very open map. This looks incredibly suspicious. And apparently it's nothing. Also looks suspicious, but I doubt. Ah, probably the thing where it actually is something, but yeah, who cares. That's fine. I've always never liked that about Zero Mission, like these, like, Zero Mission and Fusion, those room transitions, because you always fall right back down, I swear. It's like, why can't it just be one room? Because there aren't any vertical doors, like doors in the floor, like there are in um, uh, Super Metroid for some reason. Like, I never noticed that about Fusion and Zero Mesh until someone pointed it out. Like, until, well, actually, until I noticed it on the door video. I'm like, wait a minute. Those aren't even things in this game. Like, why is that? I feel like a weird thing to not have, you know? It's like, why is that a thing? Yeah, who knows? Who cares? Who knows? Let's get the hell on out of here. There's not a speed booster puzzle around here. It was two new areas. Let's try heading up first. All right. Super missile. Okay, cannot do anything over there then. This looks like the speed booster area. There's definitely a speed booster puzzle around here. There's these slopes replaced in very suspicious ways. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. There's some weird things going on here. Alright, I'm gonna use the D-pad. I can't never get my speed booster working. This is the problem with the emulator. Plus, Zero Mission Speed Boost is fucking weird. That was totally useless, but you know what? I wanted to do a Speed Booster. I wanted to use the Speed Booster again, okay? I just like Dread Speed Booster the most. I think I'm just too used to that one, because it's so fucking good in that game. It's kind of absurd how good it is. Oh, hey, we found a secret anyway. Not the same secret that we're looking for, but hey, it's a secret nonetheless. Not even the one I was looking for, but sure. Energy tanks honestly better than missiles. Fuck you, missiles. There's map data up there. Fuck, okay. Yeah, we'll do it again. We're just... Oh. <laughs> well, we were just rusted the first time we activated it, but now we are masters of everything. See, now we can get it first try, no problem. That was not the move I did. That was not... I did not press that direction. Come on. Speed booster simulator. 
Let's get the map data and get out of here. Alright, where's this gonna take me? Ooh, crates over there. Um, judging by how much time we're at right now in the recording, and we're only 25 minutes in. I mean, I'll do long ass recordings still. Like, I think hour long videos are probably better. They usually do better anyway. Cause I've noticed people like people don't have like sh like people used to like. It's kind of funny like people talk. Oh, yeah, people have short attention spans. Like, no. If anything, it's just kind of like there's no in between now. It's like you, I, like, medium-sized videos do the worst. It's like super-duper short bite-sized videos do really good, and also long-ass videos do well, too. So I think I'm just going to make the videos longer. I think, because I like the recording in hour-long sessions, so, like, yeah. I think it works out better. Like, it's better to do one, more continuous gameplay instead of, like, a proper... Oh, I remember this area with, like, the water streams. Once again, very good music. I should always keep mentioning that. Good music all around this hack, honestly. Owie. That hurt. Now, the only thing that worries about crate is that crate's kind of difficult in this game. We don't really have that many missiles or weapons or anything. Kind of limited on ammunition and stuff. So remember, I think I died the crate when I played this last time. Bad for that. There you go. Ooh, yeah, this area. They have that mechanic where you, like, jump. You gotta be quick about it. Woo! I'm so good at this game. Let's go. We do not have ice beam. I feel like doing bomb jumps, either. What's down here? Super missile. Uh, I'm checking the walls are like the speed booster surface. A lot of them feel like they should be speed booster surfaces, you know? This area is confusing. The platforms look so weird, like they're so out of place. It's gotta be for something. I'm trying to get my missiles back up. Give me energy. It's like energy is helpful, but like I don't, I don't want missiles more. Let's go! Yeah! Oh god, we go! Oh no! No! Ugh. Come on, Sam, let's get back up. Oh hey, ice beam. Probably no. It's Tome of Freezing. Okay. All right, we can head back over there, but let's still check out what else this area has to offer. I'll say fully reloaded on everything. Uh, I still kind of want more missiles. Not really much. Okay, what's over here? Oh, it's just the bottom of this room. Move out the way. I got ice beat now. Or oh, tome of freezing now. I got frozen spells. All right, looks like we're heading back up to where we were before anyway. Die, die. You suck. Nobody loves you. Okay. <laughs> Get to insult the enemies. If you don't insult the enemies, you know they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna develop too much of an ego, and you don't want that happening. It's definitely a thing that can happen. Okay. Get out the way. Open you. And speed run time. Nah, the power of freezing. How does it make you feel? Make you feel bad? Good, because that's how I feel. Okay, no, 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 no. I want you dead. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, I want you dead real quick. Wait, no, 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 stop living. I want you dead. What does this do? What that do? What this do? Okay, power bomb. Ah! Okay, uh, oh shit, he's chasing me. Sorry I insulted you last time. Get for the part where I'm not sorry at all. I actually deserved it, because you suck. I'm not sure. We might, maybe we get power bombs here because it seems kind of seems like we are, with like the amount of power bomb obstacles we can't get through. There's a claustrophobic 
passageway. Also, I wonder if this area was made earlier than the other one, because, like, Whenever you fail a jump, it seems you don't have the teleport things that they clearly had later. So maybe it's like that they added that they figured out how to do that later. And that area was a later room, and this is like one of the first ones. That or maybe they just did it on purpose because like the water flow mechanic's pretty cool, so it would make sense to do that. I don't know. Just something I noticed. There's a lot of freaking ways to go. It's like it seems like there's a branching path anytime I do anything. Ooh, this is totally gonna lead down the crate, isn't it? Alright, let's head back let's head up first then. So it's probably going to lead to the boss itself, so we want to kind of avoid that for now. Still need some more upgrades. Yeah, we only have 30 missiles and 2 energy tanks. <laughs> oh, never mind. We'll probably find some on the way down there. No, water, don't take me the wrong way. I don't want you to take me the wrong way. That's not very nice of you, water. In fact, I would like you to stop, because you know what? water. Nobody is cool with you. Nobody thinks you're neat. Nobody thinks you're awesome. You're actually stupid. Yeah, water. I said it. I'm not going insane. I'm not just insulting video game water. That would be absurd. Why would I do such a stupid thing? Anyway, <laughs> I think I just need to stop talking. That'll probably be my, probably be the move. Okay, get you. Yeah, it's fun playing Metroid Hack again, because I miss Metroid Hacks. They're fun. I just kind of got burnt out of them, mainly because Vitality was annoying. It wasn't bad or anything, it was just fucking hard for the sake of being hard. Oh, I was supposed to not do whatever the hell I just did. Wait a minute. Heh 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 heh. Oh shit, okay. Well, <laughs> now we kind of have to do the speed booster thing. Alright, we're gonna do it on this side. But holy shit, I'm smart. See, I'm using the speed booster in creative ways to do a sequence break kind. Not really sequence break, it's more just a different way to do the room, I guess. A faster way, theoretically, even though it took us longer than... <laughs> we accidentally killed the enemy perfectly. I mean, that's just good aim on my part. Uh, it looks like there's a safe room right before Kraid, so that's good. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna head towards him, get the job done over with. No, no, let me in. <laughs> this is nerve-wracking. Damn, that was kind of hard. Oh, yeah, it's totally loose crate. Alright, so this might be a hard boss. We might even need to take a break and not do it right now. But, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take the chances. I can beat him no hit in Dread. I've beaten him on Dread mode twice. So, like, you know what? Metroid Dread can't stop me. What, what says Zero Mission can? Zero Mission ain't got nothing on me. I'm just threatening. I'm just threatening everything. That's the, that's the theme of the video. I just threaten everything. Even if it makes no sense. Oh, let's head this way. I guess it's like the pack way in. The missile door was closed, I remember. Oh, I think it's like a permanent shortcut. Yeah, no. It's, okay, cool. Permanent shortcut. So if we if we don't want to take on Kraid, we don't have that's cool, I like that. So it's not like you're not you're not forced to just kill Kraid. Like if you don't have enough upgrades, you can always leave if you want. To. That's cool, I like that. So it opens up a permanent shortcut. That's I really like that, so you don't need to like go all the way around if you want to refight him. This hack is very fucking well designed, like damn. Better designed than zero mission proper, honestly. Ooh, new boss music. Is that being a penis? Crate, stop fucking this! Oh my god, I hate Crate so much in this game. That's one thing they'll never say with this game is I fucking hate Crate in it. She's such an unfun boss to fight, you know. This is a bad grinding spot, though.
I'm gonna do this for a bit. It's a bit slow, I just need to heal up a bit and get more missiles. Okay, can I stop being impaled by every single one of those? Oh, he's one hit away. Okay, I guess they made Kraid weak. They made a lot of things weaker, I feel like. I will notice that. This seems like a pretty easy hack, all things considered. I just want to remind everybody that I'm playing on expert mode. So, like, that's all I'm saying. I'm playing on expert mode. So, that just means I'm just simply too skilled at the video game. Okay, there's a second rune. And two, four. Let's go. We're just too skilled at video games, I think, is the issue here. And, you know, when, when you're as skilled as someone like me, you know, it's just kind of like... <laughs> Alright, let's go back the other way, just because, like, I saw that there was, like, a different way you could go, so maybe there's, like, a couple upgrades over there. Let's fully explore, uh, Mons. Because, like, there's a whole southern part of this area we just did not go to. Save. Yeah, Kraid was really easy, honestly. So I'm confused. Is the dragon Ridley? Because, like, on my other file it said Ridley was the final thing, but I could be wrong on that. And we are currently 36 minutes through this recording, and I don't think I'm really cutting anything, so... We had some epic fails, but, like, they weren't that bad. Not, like, just some warp ball jump fails. I figured I'd just, like, skipped. Okay, wait, no, there's nothing over here. Never mind. Never mind. There is quite literally nothing over here. Okay, so we'll just head back. Aw, <laughs> oh, I mean, you have to go through the trial again. Damn it. What a scam. Unless. <laughs> You see when you're a j motherfucker. Wrong button. You see when you're a genius like I am, because it doesn't seem like the water even affects your speed booster levels. It's like, yeah, we could just skip all that, so that's cool. See, I'm using speed booster somewhat decently, kind of well, not really. I'm using it in creative ways since it's not been used for a single puzzle yet. Oh my god, I can't. Oh god, damn, I actually have to do it right, damn it. Oh, I'm out of here. Man, they make these platforms too short so you can't even speed booster off them. Lame, lame, lame. I call hacks and lameness. Alright, let's head to the south then. Looks ominous somewhat. Never mind, we're not going that way. Uh, can't really go up either, I don't, uh, maybe we can't, uh, I don't really see any point of going up. Oh, we can go that way too. Alright, we still have a place to go. Alright, that's fine. That's suspicious to me. We'll get it eventually though. First, let's explore around. Just so we can get blocked by their silver door, apparently. I know red door, that's promising. Alright, this is an uh, interesting area. Once again, very fucking good music. Like, this, this hack is such good music, honestly. Oh, hey, lava. Yeah, can't jump high enough for that. Let's say the button clicks are very loud again. I know they probably are. I put the volume at lower than normal just because I don't want to risk a repeat of last time. So, sorry if you can't really hear the music that well. I just don't want to make, I just want to make sure I can actually, you know, hear my voice so it's not just drowned out. Because it's not like, it was just silent, like, no voice, just gameplay. Like, it would be fine. Like, no, it's two voices conversation. It just sounds like really bad if you if like you can bear you can hear you can't enjoy the music fully because you can hear voices, but you also can't hear the voice. It's just annoying. It's like the worst balance, and I hate when that happens. I was really bad with it back then. Well, not back then, but like, because that was actually the first time I used my new mic, and yeah, it ended up like that. So unfortunate. Oh, I'm burning alive! Help me! Oh, hey, missiles. 
Super. That's actually actually gives me some pretty decent openings. Ah, oh, I'm on fire! Help me! No, I'm gonna die! No, 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 no! I'm gonna die! Okay. <laughs> uh, we at least down. Let's try checking it out. Wee! Hopefully, I don't get suck like get put into another burning pit of death. Like, hopefully that doesn't happen. I prefer it. It didn't happen. Oh no, we're just debating. No, this is a different area. All right, let's go over here. So this might might be where we get like the Varia suit or something. We got super missiles though, which is always a good thing to say. Let me over here. Ugh. Okay. Um. Oh shit, we're burning alive again. You know, I don't need suits. I can survive anything. I am invincible Samus now, and I am going to survive through any challenge that gets thrown my way, because that is how Samus does it. She will never die, except, right, that was, I mean, to be fair, I was just, I was just seeing how far I could really get. Alright, so I was like hoping that maybe you're supposed to do, maybe it was like an other M situation where you're supposed to go through the superheated area, and then you gotta like just survive long enough. Well, I mean, I mean, to be fair, Vitality did that, for better and for worse, but like, so I guess we're not supposed to go over there yet, so let's, let's not... I mean, maybe we, we theoretically could, but it's not a good idea. If we had more energy, maybe. <laughs> if we had way more energy, because we're... Hmm. Hmm. That seems like more energy than me. These things are everywhere, jeez. Things are everywhere in the... Oh, it's, we're still in Mons. We're just in the southern portion of Mons. Mons is a very big area. I mean, it's basically just two areas stitched in the one, to be fair. Okay, nothing over there. Move out the way. Well, this isn't like a one-way type thing. It probably is, but I just want to see where it leads. No! Okay, well. That's unfortunate. But hey, that's, I think this is a shortcut again. Ah, oh, help me, I'm burning! Help me, no, no, I'm gonna die! No! Oh! God, fucking... There you go, shortcut unlocked. Now we gotta, like, get back before we fucking burn. Wait, what is stop? That plaf that tiny little platform, that's not even, like, a block high is stopping me, really. Right, let's just roll out of here. Oh, yeah. God. Jeez, that takes a really lot of health out of you, damn. But hey, we have a shortcut unlock at least. That's a good, I think. Probably. Maybe. Theoretically, it's good. Ah! <gasps> okay. Arachnus? Yo, that's fucking sick! Two- Yo! Oh, fuck. I'm screwed, but like, I'm so dead, but like, oh my god. This is so fucking cool. Even has a remix. Of Dude, yo, they fucking this is a fusion, yo. It's so cool. I mean, it's not cool how I die, but like, okay. Excuse me, what? They brought. Okay, I mean that was a lot of progress lost, but like, holy, that's fucking cool. Okay, note this out. Don't open up the shortcut. The shortcut's kind of useless. Not gonna lie. Don't don't do that. Just just fight Arachnus because we had barely anything on us at that point. We didn't lose that much progress, actually. It's mostly like the cannon area. Ah, <gasps> okay, yeah. Guess when we get Varya suit from them, that would be my get. I mean, I'm gonna get morph ball from them, but I don't think that's what's happened. But like, holy shit, they managed to port a rat. I mean, I know Fusion and Zero Mission are built on the same engine, but like, that's so fucking cool. It's so like surreal seeing something from Fusion just show up in Zero Mission. Damn, that's cool. It's two of them, too, so this is going to be a pretty challenging boss fight. Ha, we got, actually got this time. Let's go. Alright, I think we got this, though. We have three energy... This, we, we had, like, no... We had, like, one energy tank left last time. And then we got pretty far in the fight, too. Okay, I mean, we just spammed our super missiles immediately and killed the first one, so I think that's the strat. God, so fucking weird. It's so cool seeing this, though, in a different game. Okay, that time we made very quick work of them. 
We were just caught very- I was just caught fucking off guard that was fighting Arachnus in Zero Mission. Okay, I wonder if they ported more fusion bosses into Zero Mission, because my biggest problem with Zero Mission is that the bosses in it are very lame compared to fusions. Like, fusions boss fights are probably the best in the entire series. Like, it has such a good selection of bosses. Anyway, give me that Vary suit. Oh no, Cloak of Wisdom, my bad. Now we have the wisdom to not burn alive in hot areas. Grants the wear of knowledge of the arts, prevents heat damage. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, we're doing pretty good. Got Vari suit, and uh, recording is about at 45 minutes. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break at like, at least for me when time turns. Oh, hey, the ancient rune. I'm about halfway, honestly. Already. You know, maybe we'll beat this in one go. Maybe we will. Because I feel like we might be able to, honestly. Or at least we can do like one part being... Uh, we can have two parts, but the second part will be much shorter. It'll just be like the 100% run or whatever. So that we get all the items. Maybe we'll do that. That might be cool. It's like if people really want to see more items. They can just be like, oh yeah, here's another episode where it's just like, oh yeah, here's like the full 100% of the hack. I think that would be a cool up, little up uh, video to do. Who knows though? I don't really care, but... Bam. Bam. We still have a hive jump, I just realized. Although it is very plausible that there is no high jump in this hack, because I don't think SR387 had a high jump. Yeah, it only had space jump, it just didn't have high jump, so it could be very possible that we don't ever get jump ball. Which would be annoying, because I like jump ball, but, you know, who cares. Not me. Yeah, let's head over to that room that we can go for. All right, we can go in the burning area without, you know, burning. Oh, please, don't kill me. Okay. This looks like an upgrade to me. No, it's just a different way to go. Okay, entirely. Well, not really a different way to go. It's more just a dead end, but... It teases a different way to go. All right. I'm really good at aiming at these guys, as you can tell. Right, I'm assuming you don't want to fall down. Oh, yeah, this is just kind of like a, oh, you fucked up moment type thing. Okay, I feel like a lot of areas do that in this. I don't have high jump or any... Okay, I guess there... Maybe... I don't know if there's high jump in this. Who knows? We'll figure it out, I guess. All right, well, hey, now we're over here again. That's cool. Let's not fall this time, though. Because I don't feel like finding these stupid bats things. Oh, my God, they're so annoying. Yeah, not, yeah, I don't feel like fighting them. <laughs> like I die. No. I got fooled. Are you kidding? I got seriously tricked. Are you kidding me? Why is that a thing then? Why can you do that? It was like it was like a secret. I was curious to see if there was anything over there. Lame. This game's this game's annoying. I actually hate it now. Curse you, Metroid Scroll 6. Okay. Let's not fuck up again. We have enough energy. I can just tank hits, honestly. Or, no, we, never mind. We can just speed boost through all of them. That works, too, I guess. Tip's kind of hard to make. Alright. Let's not... Let's not... Let's just go forward. All that for one stupid missile tank. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Okay. It's not so quicker to go this way. Okay, finally can get out of this stupid area. Not even for an energy tank, just one missile. Alright, how do we get out here again? I want to open up the shortcut first. So we're going to head back over this way just to open it up. But God, I hate those fucking... There is no spacer in Zero Mission. It's like we're kind of stuck with that. So, because I want to open the shortcut in case we ever want to go back. But yeah, I think we're done with Mons for now. So I gotta figure. So now we can use the Super Missile to unlock some new areas. 
Expiry Suit's honestly only really good for this area, it seems like. The main upgrade we got here was honestly just this, the uh, thing. But yeah, we are technically halfway with the runes, at least, so... So, I don't know. I think like it's gonna go quicker, but I think I'll actually... We'll see what the next area is, maybe collect the major upgrade there, and I think we'll call it quits, because I'll probably be like 15 minutes by then. Well, probably 60, more like. There's still mons, just have the same music. I don't feel like going all the way over there, because I don't think that's going to lead to a new area. We're just going to head back to the main area, I think. I think that's the best option here. Look at that missile later. Yeah, let's head back to the main area. Uh, Oh, we can go all the way over there. Yeah, Alright, let's do that. I should check maps so we don't go the wrong way. Oh, fuck, it's so annoying to get back over there. Oh, we can go the other way. Okay, we can just go this forward, completely forward this way, and then we'll loop back around anyway. Okay, that works too. I haven't seen any like speed booster puzzles, or I probably have. I just don't haven't registered them as speed booster puzzles. Who knows? Let me just go up. It's like me looking at a GPS when I'm trying to drive. Oh yeah, we- oh, this area that we actually like sequence break technically, but didn't have the actual upgrade for it, so it didn't matter in the first place. We totally missed. Alright, well, we're gonna have to kill- we're gonna have to climb up here, I guess. I can see the challenge comes from trying to get through these enemies. No, what? Why didn't I grab the ledge? What the hell? You know, I'm killing you for that. I blame you. Oh, fuck, dude, these platforms, these are hard jumps, actually. Like, very difficult jumps. Alright, let's actually, oh god. We dare go over there after how much hell it was to get. Yeah, yeah we do. I don't even ask myself that question. Of course we do. Well, it leads to a different area, actually. Turin. This place looks fucking cool. Alright, let's see what upgrade we get here first, then, and I guess we'll, we'll call it quits. Okay, well, I feel like I need a screw attack for that, because I, I can recognize those obstacles any day of the week. Whenever it looks like that, it's like, oh yeah, that's a screw attack type thing. I guess we're getting a screw attack then. Which, honestly, cool. Get off me! Oh, no. Oh. Now, I'm really good at threading the needle perfectly through blocks, and the only time I won't thread the needle is when I actually need to thread the needle. This area is ominous. No, go away, go away, go away. Die. Oh, fuck. fuck. Get off the sweet ledge damage, you idiot. Have a brain for two seconds. Yeah, no, 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 up. There you go, bam, perfect. Let's go. He says, "Yeah, how's that feel? Make you cry? Good. I want you to cry." Missiles. I always use a bit more missiles. Not like uh, planets where we had way too much. Like, no, we still kind of need more. All right, another locked red door. Okay. Oh, no, oh, fuck. Oh, it's one of these types of rooms. Okay, cool. Kill you. So I don't have to deal with you, because you're annoying. 
That seems like a really easy upgrade to get, I'll be real. Oh my god, we were so close to making it cool, but then we fucked it up. What the fuck? I killed you! Okay, no, you're not doing that same thing again, me. Your bullshit, like, hitbox, damn it. Damn it, dude, this is not hard. Why are we having so much problems with this? Fuck you! There we go, got it. Finally, jeez, it took way too long. I hate... God, I hate those things so much. They're so annoying. And they're hard to hit, too, because, like, they're... They're pretty thin in terms of, like, their hitbox, and, like, they're, they fly around so much. And they get perf perfectly lower than you, so you can, like, duck, but, like, you, can't, you don't have time. But then they get inside you, so that you can't actually hit them. They're so close that you can't... Oh, we can screw attack for these red boxes, I guess. Well, pink boxes, I don't know. I'm not playing the red challenge anymore, so... You know, maybe we can incorporate, like... Every 2D Metroid to make up to make up even more for me not including Dread, we could always do like a bunch of hacks and shit. I think that'd be fun. I think I might include planets when I do the next one. I'm gonna do a blue color challenge. I might even include planets into it. And you might be like, well, isn't that just Metroid 1? No, we're gonna do Novus though. And see where that gets us. Maybe not the I don't know. I feel like the seven we have right now is pretty good. Gimme screw attack, hell yeah. Eradication, I mean, that's a fucking good name for it, honestly. Alright, you know, I said, you know, when I said, uh, we're gonna take a break, well, you know, it's not really an hour yet, it's about 56 minutes, so it's not technically an hour, that's all I'm saying. Uh, no, we're just gonna get, we're gonna get higher up to that, wherever that save point is. That's where we're gonna call it quits, though. Oh, hell yeah, you guys are going fucking down. It's fine, okay, we don't need to worry about taking out those guys anymore, they're not annoying anymore, they're already dead. They dead now. Die, 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 die. Get murdered. Stop living. Okay. They have learned to learn to not to live. I don't know what I said, but it was something, that's for sure. Ha 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 ha. Actually, on second thought, I think we should do we should, I'm actually gonna save. I don't wanna push my luck too much, especially with how annoying this room is. Ugh. There we go. Perfect. Did it perfect. Okay, that's the. Oh, that's the one way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just. Right, let's just head down. Let's let's call quits for that day. And yeah. Anyway, I might as well start the outro right now since I'm on the way to the end. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.